professional wrestling. Mike Mittman along with Brian Webster and of course, Brian the Lightning Kid. Many know him better from the World Wrestling Federation as the one, two, three kid or six from the New World Order, that gang of thugs that's running rampant in World Championship Wrestling. And you know, the Lightning Kid got his name in the WWF, Mike. The one, two, three kid, he got that from the fans when he, from out of nowhere, he came out and he defeated Razor Ramon. And you know the rest of the story. However, from the early years of the Lightning Kid's career with the Global Wrestling Federation, he is all over this dapper Dan, who may not be looking too dapper when the Lightning Kid is done with him. The Lightning Kid can do it all inside that squared circle, but look at Dapper Dan go, and the Lightning Kid has been knocked senseless. And a scoop slam, and down goes the Lightning Kid, and I'll tell you, I'm impressed. Look at that from Dapper Dan. Quick cover, but only a count of one. The Lightning Kid, quick as lightning. Now for the right across the ring. In comes Dapper Dan, and Monkey flips him out of there. These two wrestlers, not some of the biggest wrestlers, but probably as quick as you're ever going to see. Oh, and there you go. The Lightning Kid putting the brakes on, holding onto the top rope, Ooh. and that will allow the Kid to take over on Dapper Dan. And now taking his opponent into the corner. Oh, it's a smash to the chest of Dapper Dan. And there he goes in the corner and look out. Oh, and that drop kick was right on the jaw. And there was nowhere for Dapper Dan to go. Can you imagine the impact of that particular maneuver? Irish whip in. Oh, what a kick right into the upper chest by the Lightning Kid, displaying some of the muscle and some of the skill that it takes to be one of the true superstars of the squared circle. And Brian, since the opening bell, there hasn't been more than a two second low in the action. And look at this. Suplex into a pinning combination, but cannot hold on for more than a count of two. Double axe handle right now, right into the back of Dapper Dan. And it is all the Lightning Kid right at this point. And look at that. A clothesline catches Dapper Dan. Not in good shape. Over for the cover. Whoa. Almost a count of three right there. And he didn't even hook the leg. Dapper Dan seemingly running out of steam. And now it's the Lightning Kid scoops him up and slams him down to the canvas. And it is the Lightning Kid as he drops that leg on the upper chest area of da uh, Dapper Dan. Devastating leg drop right there by the Lightning Kid who backs his man up. Now sends him for the right across to the far turnbuckle. Moving in, and Dapper Dan moves out of the way. Nobody the, home. The Lightning Kid came crashing down to the canvas. And this may be the opening that Dapper Dan was looking for. Dan now with the Lightning Kid, measures him up, sends him for the ride. Whoa, duck underneath the clothesline attempt by the Lightning Kid. High crossbody and a quick cover, and only a count of two. And I may say that count a little bit on the uh, slow side. Referee uh, taking a little nap in there, I think. Uh-oh, now Dapper Dan to the outside. And now... It is Dapper Dan in danger of being counted out outside of the ring. Oh, no! The Lightning Kid springing off that top rope, and he came crashing down on Dapper Dan. Here's a guy who will take all sorts of risks in order to punish his opponents. You can call him whatever you want to call him, unorthodox, crazy, but he does take those risks. Little leapfrog, but oh, look no. out. Forget it. Yes, indeed, the Lightning Kid with a victory.